Hello again, this is Nikki Florino of Fables and Fauna, and I'm doing another Caption This Tortoise and Hare painting, so let's see if you can guess it before the video ends. I had a bit of a rough start with this painting, and you're about to witness it. Ooh, it does not smell okay. <laughs> well, sorry about that. Um, I actually didn't know that frisket could go bad. I don't know how it went bad, but it was very gross. <laughs> I'm using those Japanese watercolors that I can never remember the name of off the top of my head, but I'll put a link in the description below for you again. Um, this time I decided to try just using the watercolors to skip the gouache and uh, I'll go over and finish the line work all in colored pencil, which is strange to me to um, not use inks for the line art because that's my usual go-to, but I wanted to have colored line work so it could kind of blend into the watercolor a little bit. And the major thing I wanted to experiment with in this painting is uh, tinkering with the hair's design again and this time instead of trying to paint her pink I went yellow obviously and um, the other big thing was I wanted to try giving her braces um, I Steve and I discovered the cartoon Gravity Falls recently so um, Mabel I'll, I'll be honest, Mabel was a big inspiration. She is so hilarious. Um, and the way the hair turned out with the blonde or yellow fur and the braces, I, I love it. I love how it looks, and it felt like a magical um, aha moment. I've got to be honest, though. I've been struggling with um, their names because my tortoise and hair characters were originally named Abel and Anna to rhyme with Fables and Fauna. Isn't that cute? But the problem is, when you see it written out, um, Anna is kind of hard to pronounce, because I don't know about you guys, but I default to saying Anna, and I can imagine that would be frustrating for me as an author to have like little readers come up to me and say, oh, I just love Anna. She's my favorite. And in the back of my head, I'd be like, it's Anna. Don't you get it? Ah. I mean, it's, it's really not a big deal, but um, I know I would make that mistake if I was them. So that's the big reason why I've been rethinking what to name them. Although I am pretty happy with Abel still. That still sounds like a good name. Maybe something like Miles would be cute because, you know, tortoise and hare, it's a race, so, you know, Miles, that's kind of cute. Um, but let me know in the comments below if you have any name ideas for my tortoise and hare pair. To be honest, after I painted the hair with the braces and the blonde hair and the pink outfit, she reminded me of a girl from my high school and um, it's kind of a, a sad story, but uh, so I will tell you in a different video because I will continue doing caption this videos of uh, cute paintings of these two. But her name was Claire, and it made me really happy that um, that it reminded me of her, and that maybe I could have a character that would represent her. So. I'll tell that story next time. But what do you think? Does the hair look like a Claire? 
<laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I didn't notice that that rhymed. That sounds so cool. I think that name is officially a good contender now. But have you guessed what the caption of this painting will be yet? Drum roll! If you think rabbit feet are lucky, then you haven't seen nothing yet, said the hare. So, uh, yeah, it's more of a cute caption than necessarily a funny one. But, anyway, there you have it. And I will be back with more videos like this one. And I actually have some other video ideas up my sleeve too, so hit that subscribe button like all those other YouTubers tell you to do. And I will see you in the next video.